Hello everyone, welcome to another discussion video on a, another JoJo's Bizarre Adventure character and the character we will be discussing today is Dio over Heaven. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like the video and turn on the bell icon so you will not miss videos like these. So Dio over Heaven is the product of the Heaven plan both him and his friend Enrico Pucci had created before the events of Part 3. Just a quick recap on Heaven, it is a way to have the perfect and most powerful stand. And to obtain Heaven, you must have a stand, uh, I mean like of course, kill 36 sinners, having a trustworthy friend, and to recite the 14 phrases, having courage and a proper location, and at that location when the new moon arrives, so will Heaven. So Dio had obtained the so-called heaven form, but this Dio is not the same Dio who had lost in part 3. He's in fact a Dio from an alternate universe where he had beaten Jotaro and Sardis Crusaders and went along with the heaven plan. If you guys want a better explanation, you can find all of this in the game Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Eyes of Heaven. The only two people who properly achieved heaven were Enrico Pucci and Dio. Pucci had made in heaven. On the other hand, Dio got the world over heaven. The power of the world over heaven is to overwrite all of reality. And this ability is absolutely limitless as Dio could pretty much do anything he has ever wanted to do. And this new ability is an extreme jump from the power levels of Jojo. The two best feats from the world over heaven was it was able to overwrite Tuss Act for his infinite spin and Gold Experience Requiem's ability to revert to zero. The Infinite Spin had a power that transcended dimensions and also had the power to bypass D4C's ability of Love Train. On the other hand, the power of Gold Experience Requiem had a power that was beyond time, space, and even reality itself. But both Tusk and GER were easily defeated by Dio over Heaven. We did not get too much information on what Dio could do with this stand, but just to name a few things of what he could do with this power is 1. He could control people by sealing their souls. 2. Dio can bring people back to life where the people Dio had resurrected are brought back to their peak forms. 3. He could travel to any reality in an instant. 4. Overwrite anyone out of their existence. 5. Heal himself from any damage that is physical or magical. 6. Create his own reality. And finally, Dio has infinite time stop. So you are probably sitting and asking yourself, how could anyone in all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure possibly beat Dio's Over Heaven's ability? Well, Dio was beaten by a star Platinum Over Heaven in the Eyes of Heaven storyline, and this is where the same type of stand concept becomes a big problem, or at least in my eyes. I have a high regard for Dio because he went through the necessary steps needed to achieve heaven, but through Dio and Jotaro's fight, he took a one glance at Dio's overriding ability and Jotaro achieves heaven on the spot. Jotaro did not go even near the necessary steps to achieve this form. The only explanation is that Star Platinum and the world are the same type of stand and thus Jotaro beated the alternate universe Dio. So a lot of people in the JoJo community like to debate whether Dio over Heaven is canon or non-canon. In my opinion, even though it has never happened in the JoJo timeline at all, it's still a very good possibility that something like Eyes of Heaven will appear in the main timeline. My final thoughts on Dio over Heaven is I really like the design on both him and the world over Heaven and it's scary on how Dio was able to beat a stand like Gold Experience Requiem, the undisputed most strongest thing in all of JoJo. And if Dio over Heaven did exist in JoJo, everyone will most likely be killed except for Jotaro because of his over Heaven stand as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe. Also, put it down in the comments below if you want me to do more discussion videos like these. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be safe and have a great day.